I've been addicted to vaping since I was like 17. I bought my first jewel when I was 18 and I had that for a couple of years and then I was on and off with like hide sticks, jewels, um, puff bars. And then most recently I had an EBSCO bar and it died in the first week. And I've been trying to quit for a really long time but a lot of people I work with have them and then um, when I go to the bars, it's really nice to have when I'm drunk, but I can feel a difference in my mood when I have one, and it's also just like, it affects me physically, it makes my chest hurt, it makes my throat hurt, it makes my voice sound like this, so I said goodbye to the EBSCO bar last night, and hopefully I can completely quit vaping for good. And I want to get to the point where even if someone around me has one, I don't ask to hit it because that's really what gets me. And I thought I could just have one for like when I'm not in the house. Like this last one I didn't bring in the house. I just had it in the car and then when I was at work. And obviously I don't have the self-control for that. So I'm going to try really hard to quit. It's something that not a lot of people talk about. Vaping is an epidemic. <laughs> Straight up. So I'm trying to quit. I'm not going to buy one. I can't afford one. It's so expensive. And it just really fucks up your lungs. And nicotine is life ruining. So hopefully I can quit. I'm going to work hard and keep myself accountable. So wish me luck. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, cottage cheese is gas. <laughs> Thank you.